Nature's best, Bobtail. Now, if there's one thing our furry friends are not too fond of is when you apply tick or flea treatments. They just hate it. And it's especially difficult if you try and do it on your own because they never stand still and you need to make sure that you apply it correctly for it to work. But luckily, we have animal behaviorist Karis Bryan with us to give us a few hints and tips on how to approach this little issue. Karis, welcome to Expresso. Good morning. So, a very important matter, ticks and fleas. Yes. You want to rid your dog of that. And when you, you, when you apply those treatments, you need to put it on correctly. Absolutely. Look, there's lots of different ways to work with fleas. Yeah. One of the easier things to use are the topical flea, flea treatments. There are several brands available, but this is the little liquid you put in between a dog or a cat's shoulder blades. Yes. Um, and the, the way to use these products correctly is they need to be applied monthly okay. to keep the system going. You don't want to wait until you see fleas because then it's harder to get rid of. It's about stopping the cycle before it carries on. Right. Often what happens with these, especially if you're doing this on your own to try to apply the flea treatment, is the dogs squirm away. That's exactly like, it. They go, oh, they don't. And if you don't get it on the skin, they don't work. All okay, right. if you get the fur wet, it doesn't quite work. So you so, might think you've applied it correctly, yes. but if it's not on the skin, it's not going to work. Exactly. Okay. So I have a very lovely, simple little trick to show you All right. with Miss Bella. You need yes. biltong and peanut butter and a smooth surface, Who okay? Who can resist and your flea biltong? treatment. <laughs> Who can resist biltong, biltong and peanut and pe butter? Come on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a blob of peanut butter and yeah. put it on the wall right at your dog's nose height. Yeah. And then stick, this is very glamorous. Look at that. And you're gonna put some biltong <laughs> in and on the peanut butter yeah. so that your dog licks at it. And while they're busy licking at this, you quickly pop it off and yeah. apply your flea treatment to your dog like that. Oh Easy peasy my. done. Just like just that. Just like that. And that goes for big dogs, small dogs, puppies? Puppies, anyone. The, the trick is just to put your little smear of stuff at the dog's yeah. nose height. Obviously, don't put it up too high. Yeah. If your dog is especially squirmish about getting flea treatment on, yeah. do what I did now, where you practice it. I haven't actually applied this to Bella. I'm just using it as an example. Yeah. So put it on and just touch your dog like this so they get used to that weird plastic yeah. feeling and take it off. And do that once or twice before you put the actual treatment on your dog. So basically a practice run, just like a rehearsal practice. shot. Exactly. And then yeah. you look very professional when it happens, and it's the same thing. And then when you really do it, the dogs don't notice. Exactly. All right. And you said the most important thing when it comes to tick and flea treatments is to really keep it consistent. Right? To keep it consistent, make sure it gets on the skin. Yeah. Because if you if you don't use it properly, the, the, the treatments aren't effective. If you use them right. properly, they are. Like I say, there's plenty of other things. There's collars. Mm. There's other products that are a bit more natural. People mm. just have to go with what they feel comfortable with. But if you're going to yeah. use a topical treatment, that's the only way for them to be effective. Right. Now, Bella's got short hair. What about dogs with longer hair? I mean, this must be a little bit more of a tricky task. If you've got a dog with longer hair, the best thing to do beforehand is part the hair with a comb. So All give right. them a little part along the shoulder blades. You can make a little tiny bit of water just so the hair stays down yeah. so that it's open. You can see the skin because it's not about getting the fur with the, with the treatment. It's about getting yeah. the skin. Awesome. And what about if your dogs have flea or ticks already? Mm -hmm. I mean, the how do you The products work. You, just, you, start, you may have to use it a bit more frequently. The best thing to do is talk to your vet if you've got a real infestation, you yeah. usually have to also treat the environment. Treat your yeah. yard, treat the house. There's different ways to go about it. Yeah. Awesome. Karis, thank you very much. It's and I can see Bella was enjoying her little oh, peanut, perfect. <laughs> peanut butter and biltong <laughs> snack right there. It works great on the fridge. You can just wipe it off. No one's the wiser. It's perfect. <laughs> no mess, no fuss. Of course, go check out happydogs.co.za. Lots more animal tips right there.